Hey everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Black Mesa. In the last episode, we defeated Garnarch, I think, destroying her at the very bottom of the last location we could have fought her within her lair. Unless she teleported away. <laughs> I don't think she did. I don't remember what happened. I haven't watched that video yet. But in any case, uh, it's over. Our chase and or escape from her. We then arrived at a opening in a cliff face and saw what seemed to be a factory built around a Vortigaunt town. The Vortigaunts seem to be simple or simpler compared to the creatures which are forcing them into slave labor to work the factory. And we've seen the brutes torturing them while others looked on, uh, feeling powerless and unable to do anything to help. When we approached the, uh, the gaunts after we had killed the grunts, they seemed to not necessarily view us as a hostile and went about talking with each other. And as we proceeded to, to the town, the flying brainy creatures showed up. I'm going to, I'm going to call them Tharun from now on. And mind controlled several, forcing them to attack us, which is a hint as to potentially what is going on in our world. Although, I suppose being teleported into a place where you know you're going to meet hostiles also means that you will immediately defend yourself, as opposed to surrendering. The human marines are going to shoot them on sight, for example. So maybe they don't have to be mind controlled for that. In any case, we dealt with that, and now we're moving through what looks like a series of areas held by the enemy. In particular, we've got through the large flamethrower creatures, whatever they're, those are called. I should call them Gartham. Because they remind me of a bit in the Dark Crystal, where Jen had ended up in this cave system, and the Gartham activated and, cha and uh, tried to kill him. <laughs> they so they might be of Gartham, so I'll call them Gartham, although I don't know what their name is. But we ran past way too many of them, giving chase, and now we have arrived at what looks like a temple to me. But I have a hunch we're going to see more factory work, as it were, up ahead. Those look too structured, like, to be natural formations. So, this was built by either the Vortigaunts or their masters. Oh! I'm gonna feel bad about this, but I'm guessing we have to shoot those. Let's maybe check there's something under the waterfall. There is not. And this one? There is not. Okay, well, giant green puzzles that look like we should destroy them will get destroyed. Okay, and they do some sort of acidic damage. Enough to eat away at... Oh, I thought this was like a type of rock. It's... Well, well, that might just be the ooze. But the insides of it don't look rock-like. Maybe it's some sort of organic compound. That looks like where we go. This is where... Oh, that's not good. My game just instantly desktoped. The game just died immediately. We're gonna get back to the elevator, or that vent... And then I'm going to cut the recording in the vain hopes it's probably fraps that caused the issue. All right, so one second. Okay. This time it worked. And we, we have a fan, apparently, who's still watching us and was able to teleport this to us. Thank you, Lambda team. Let's hear it for the science team. They're really pulling their own weight, as much of it as they have. Mm. 
Nice. Thank you, Vortigaunts. They're working with us. They don't want to be a part of this any more than we want them uh, invading us. Glad to see that the aliens also use vents way too large for themselves or for any particular purpose, although perhaps there's some sort of fluid that flows through here. Oh, I see what we do. I'm sorry. Ah. A heads up that for these Zen episodes, I've been recording the intro screen when you launch the game after... I have already visited the location, so I don't know what what it will look like until I reach that. Uh, I'm not familiar with what they're showing unless I manage to walk up into that zone. So this was the intro screen. It feels like we're going to be having an arena battle here, as it were. Is this... Is this their main teleporter? It can't be. With the sheer number of things that are warping in, they must have... Well, actually, maybe there's several of these located across Zen. And we so happen to find this particular teleporter. I'm guessing we go up there. So let's look around on the other areas first. Oh, oh. It's no sludge. Okay, let's do this then. A shield healer. I'll take it. For as little much of it as we need it. I'm guessing we need to plug the next one in. You guys mind if I take this? Ah, I see. There was a, a bit of this in in, 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 wow, in the interloper in first Half-Life, though there were no wiring puzzles you had to do there. But the area had hostile vortigaunts, head crabs, the floating brainy things, so I'm expecting we'll be seeing similar here, too. Guessing we do the jump over there, so let's do that. So we're powering down whatever these are to power on whatever these are. Galanga. Galanga as well. And we probably take this up. I like this. This is simple puzzle. Tim can do simple puzzle. I'm surprised hostiles haven't warped in to investigate what might be going on in here. Assuming that something's monitoring what's going on here. And now that Tim is a little lost, one second. So the place we can reach this must be the, where we go. That one's already plugged in. But not plugged into that. Okay. This one. That one we can reach by riding that back up. And walking along the fence, maybe? Let's do the obvious one first.
Oh, okay. We... We need that to raise higher. Oh, which is done right here. Oh, we don't have to do any crazy jump in. So they'll be on this. Looks like this can raise even higher, but I don't see a, a port for a third plug. Nope. Oh, almost, almost missed that. I think that's where we're going. almost didn't make that. <laughs> I keep walking everywhere because I like the look of these places. This looks great. I really like this. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I didn't even see that. I thought, then when I saw it, I thought that was one of those uh, electrical, uh, bioelectric, uh, engineered electrical turrets that the enemy uses. Sir. Uh oh. This has an air of finality to it. Once we unplug this, what's going to happen? Oh, and that does plug down there. Okay. I'll take you. Hope it stretches far enough. That's what she said. Oh, it's not for this. Oh, it's for this. Yes! Oh! Oh, I get it. Okay. Orange wires go to orange plugs. Green wires go to green plugs. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, uh, obvious, uh, lift, uh, is death. You can't ride the lift. Uh, so we won't do that. Although I don't, uh, maybe we do ride it so we, we have to be just down lower to it? Where would that take us? Towards that, which I think... I don't know what happened, but I died. <laughs> oh, it's electrified. Galunga. Yeah, Galunga, indeed. We don't, we don't want that electrified. Can we unplug it? No. What do we do? I feel like we need to be there. But that's, that's electrified death. I fixed it. <laughs> Uh, you're welcome, everyone. I like the board guns to do, they really don't care. The only reason they're working is because they're forced to. Although I have a hunch they'll be punished for what we're doing if we're unsuccessful. And to be quite fair, given that times we've died, We've been unsuccessful now for some time. But this version of Gordon Freeman's making better progress. Gala long. Alright, let's see. This moves up. I guess we can jump over that. Oh, that's where we started from? Well, I think that's where we started from. If it isn't, it brings us back to the same location anyway. So, right, we need the green plug, which means we have to get it out of this device, which means we need two orange plugs. Okay, well, I can't make it up there.
That's not designed for that. That's designed for that one. Oh, that's interesting. Can we shoot it? No. Commander. Longer. You know, I like that there's no hostiles here. It makes me think that they're not quite aware of where I'm located at the moment. So you are the last one I need. How do I get you? Shooting does nothing. That does nothing. There's fire under that. I feel like that should tell me something, but it doesn't. We can't make it up there, to my knowledge. Nope, I got nothing. So, uh, I'll try shooting this once. Okay, let's try the obvious hop then and see where this takes us. Oh, this is not where we came in. Oh my. This looks like a wound that's been stitched. That's mildly disturbing. I don't want to be near the Vortigaunts. When they're mind controlled, I'd like to make sure that we're not going to take damage from them. And that these are the only things I have to worry about. Ooh, check out some of the bombs we put over the place. Yep, sure, yep, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're angry that I made your factory work. Got it. Is that where we're going? No, that's where we came from. Getting some more health and armor for free would be really useful. Judging from the reaction of the Vortigaunts, I'm guessing that the Tharun don't show up very often if their immediate reaction is to go and hide. Well, maybe again they're just hoping that they notice a different one of them and this way... Uh, I'm doing a bad job describing this. Maybe they just... Oh, God! The 
Was it this that did that? No. What hit me? Well, let's just go back and get more life and, and shields really quick. What the heck? That took off half my shields, whatever that was. Okay. God, I hope I didn't. Ha I'm allowed to fall down where I fell down to. Let's go back up here and make it back to that one factory. My, my initial instincts there were I do not want to be in a small confined area when I need to move around and dodge those things' range attacks. Do have to do a bunch of jumping again, but it won't take too long to get back over there. It feels like we're fixing their factory for them, and that for some reason those shields on these need to be destroyed. Why, I wonder? This one's safe to walk on, so we should get on this one, then. Okay, we're going this way. Oh! That's gonna suck. We can just run through it very quick. <laughs> we're not so very quick. I don't understand the factory at all. Why? It's like designed to have this problem. Maybe they've never tried to make it work before. Well, we fixed that, but I need more. I need more shields and life, guys. So you know what that means. We're going back down. Over here. That's what we want. And full heal and shield without any repercussion. In a game that has Black Mesa difficulty, you should do it. So now we'll need to get to the other pump. Oh no, please don't die. Oh, I can't die to this. I thought it, I thought it extended just a little bit outside the circular ring when it goes into the ground, and that could have potentially killed me, but no, it can't. Okay. Right, you back up, then we go over there. So those things arrived and then levitated some of the fence and scrap in this area to throw them at us, it seems. Oh, there's another one that's still busted. We'll fix this one, too. Where is it busted? Okay, well, I gu I'm guessing we're dropping down, so... And then we're coming back up through this, which probably is an intake. So, let's go down here. Okay, that's all we had to do. Oh. Well, not quite all. And then we ride this one up. Kind of a really awkward way to get around. Oh, they put a full life thing up here. Okay, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> you can't blame me for, for taking my time running around and getting what we needed. That's a wire, but I don't think we interact with it. 
Oh, we made it to whatever the heck this is. Hey, guys. Hello. I, I think this, we've seen one of these before in their city, right? This is another teleporter that'll bring us someplace else. What is this in? God, I feel so bad for the creature this is a part of. Got along. All right, let's see. What do we have ahead? Oh my. There's a few of these things. We don't have good weaponry to wield against them. We'll try using the Hornet launcher for a bit. I would imagine that these creatures could just repulse them. I'm not going to fire on them until they fire on me. Maybe they're also not in control of themselves. It'd be a mistake to just assume they're hostile. I'm so used to enemies coming out of these, not friendly things, when I see a teleporter. But instinctively, I guess I don't, I don't shoot. I should. Oh, poor guy. They gave us quite a few rockets with extras. I'm a little worried this raises up, though. It's one rocket to kill one of them, but it's difficult to actually wield a rocket against these things. These look... The color on these remind me of the pulse uh, of the postulals, so I'm guessing we have to shoot that. Yes. Oh, maybe we have to rocket it or use explosives. We'll try a normal grenade. Though I think those things are going to get angry if we do so. Okay, so far so good. Another factory. They're being grown. I'm guessing the giant armored ones, then, are also grown. They look somewhat similar to these, only they have two little hands instead of just one. So these guys are working to create living biological, well, obviously living biological uh, enemies, soldiers. Cool! Awesome! going this way. In the base Half-Life, there it was a series of treadmills, staircases, lifts in a factory. You didn't, uh, and there were these giant pods which contained those grunts. And if you destroyed them, they would release the grunt, then it would start attacking you. Hmm. 
Reminds you of Black Mesa. I'm guessing these are gonna float to some other place that we want them. Ah, we have to pick them up. So the aliens. Oh God! Oh! <laughs> well, that was kind of funny. How about that? All right. So uh, I was gonna reload anyway because I'm like that was a lot of damage to take from a, a barrel just detonating for some reason. So they must be on some sort of timer. Or I can't stand on top of them. I'm a little nervous about them, but we'll grab one. Okay, good. Let's not do that ever again. You won't, we will not also speak of this viewer. Say, I think a Hornet launcher does fire underwater, so we'll use this for the time being. But this place looks great. Who comes up with the idea for creating something that looks like this? And all the time they must have spent designing it. I love this. So many, so much of this game is reminding me of other games. Oh, it's the weapons that we're using right now. It rem this reminds me of I think it's called Fire in the Sky. I've only seen like the, a little bit of that movie where there's a person captured by aliens and they experiment on him, and I remember being pretty horrified by it. can't make any of these. Oh, we go into that? No, there, there's a window. There's a window there? There is no window there. Oh my goodness. That time I did fire it seems to be. <laughs> Where am I jumping to? Oh, there. The platform. So we've seen the brain things fly, so that must be what was generally checking up. Oh, we have all the ammo already. That's just what was checking up on those spots where I was talking earlier about how do the aliens get, get here. Well, they fly. It's easy enough. Or maybe they just assigned one of them to that, to doing so. That's not a plug for us. Okay. That thing looks fully powered already. I am a little nervous that we're going to have to fight some grunts. We haven't had to fight them in a bit now. Most of this has been... Well, most of this was a Gonarch area with a bunch of wildlife to begin with. I'm really kind of hand-waving away some of... Hand-waving is the wrong word to use. Expression to use. I'm making light of the fact of what it took to get this far, but we haven't fought as many grunts as I would have expected us to fight at this point. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know what it is? They weren't expecting someone to make it so far. Why would they have guards here? There'd be no, other than to torture or torment the Vortigons. There'd be no reason for them. 
It's a bit worrying. Oh, we can see that they're putting, I guess, grafting the armor on them here. That looks like death if we f fail any of this, so let's do our best not to. You carry your cell with you. Sticking your hand in that is probably not the wisest idea, but we're going to need it. So we should look to see how we shut that off. And this one's a bit easier to acquire. Oh, no it's not. It's locked behind something. Okay, well let's drop down and see what we have to do. Ride this up, go that way. It's pretty easy. Just take a little bit of Bernie damage. Oh, or no Bernie damage. Uh oh. Okay. I thought the flames would suddenly leap out of that. Oh. Yes. I knew this is where it went. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Yes, that's all. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. It, it powers the thing I wanted powered, of course. Oh, yeah. Why would I want to reach into that? That's not what we need to do. We need to grab the one that was right there the whole time. There we go. Now we can climb up this instead, now that it's unpowered. Or not climb up it, we can scoot around it. We still have some death to worry about. This poor guy didn't make it. Very hazardous working conditions in these factories. No wonder why they're using slaves to do this. They just get constant reinforcements. I'm, and I'm dead. And, and I'm dead. I'm thinking we just have to run. Because I don't know where we go. Although this area looks like we could probably hold out there. I guess we'll try using this.
Okay, that was... That was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. So we just killed all the aliens that they were grafting. I think that's where we want to go. And we probably could have just... Oh no, that's not where we go! Where do we go? Oh, we do that. Where's the other one of those? Oh no! <laughs> oh, okay. Let's get back over there. It's down there. Okay, so so we, we had to do this after all. I, I missed this jump. I missed it. I missed it. I made it, guys! I made it! Look how amazing I am! I made it! Oh, we did destroy all of them. Oh, it, it suddenly put more out here? I thought I watched... I thought I watched all the aliens fall, but I guess only some grunts fell. Okay, now we just have to go back up there to destroy the last one of those. Oh man, we gotta climb the wire. I did not even notice these when I was in the area earlier. There. That's where we're going. We can't access the last pump from here. Hello. You know, this feels like it should be a multi staged area, like the uh, test rocket was. But they did manage to fit these big areas instead in one map. That's the game auto-saving, I think. Ooh, I don't like that sound. Oh, it's... oh. Oh, okay. Like Half-Life 2, right? We have, where we had to grab the orbs with the gravity gun and then shoot them into things. I guess we're grabbing these. Do we just grab one? I don't trust them. That looks like death, that liquid. What do I do? Can I step in this? Oh, we can, okay. Hold on, I need to the air. Okay, we gotta do this that many times. Or do we? Can we just do it once? Is once enough?
Oh my goodness! Hello? Excuse me, will you? I need some air. I'm not sure if... I think they're in pain. But I can't tell. Looks like they're trying to break free. Whether it's because I'm here, or it's just instinctively they... They're, they don't want to have what's happening to them, I can't tell. Well, let's go up. Probably five more minutes, guys. It feels like I'm playing for about now. Actually, we'll we'll fix this room and then we'll call the session at at that point. So that's death down there. I like how this is so different than, like, I mean, it, it was the case in Half-Life 1 anyway, so I wasn't expecting anything too similar to the other Half-Life games. But I do like that they kept this area feeling very alien. I'm glad that nothing showed up to try to fight me there. Too good not to make the attempt. Okay, sorry about that, Vortigaunt. I hope you were. I think you were already dead, though. This is a. This is an avoid the laser room, I think. Avoid the death. Hazard suit. Oh, we probably caused all of them to die when we just did what we did, which is, I'm guessing is why this looks like this as well. Can't stay there. Goodness, I can't quite reach him in here. That would have been disastrous. I have no room to maneuver, so I can't dodge their attacks. Just one of you? No. Well, use every advantage you can get. Tim of the radioactive. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's radioactive. It's, it's actually there is no radioactive Geiger counter going off, so it's not radioactive. I've been wanting to reload that weapon for the past like two episodes now. Good thing I had an excuse to do so. Hello. Oh, there's glass in the way there. Uh, 
darn you, using that to push you away. Oh ho ho! I was wondering if you blew their heads open if Icker splattered out like the uh, aliens in uh, Mars Attacks, and it definitely does. That's glorious, glorious green goop everywhere. There's the other one. <laughs> I think I completely I think I was here earlier, so I completely missed that pump. Yes, I did. Completely missed it. It was right next to me the whole time, I just completely ignored it. Alright, everyone. So let's stop here. And we'll figure out what we're doing in the next one, the finished interloper. I guess we're going that no, that's where we came from. I guess we're going up. So we'll start that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll hopefully see you then. Take care, everyone.